Greetings, friends, and welcome to our very first episode in our new series, Kids Storytime. Now, for Kids Storytime, we're going to be reading some easy chapter books for interest ages around five to eight. And each week, we'll be reading a chapter two so that after several weeks, we'll have read an entire book. So you can find all of our stories on our social media, and we'll also be posting them to the library's YouTube channel. Now, our first story, since it's the very first one, we had to start with one of our favorites. So we're doing one of the best-selling children's series of all time, the Magic Treehouse books. Right, so Magic Treehouse books were written by Mary Pope Osborne, and book number one is called Dinosaurs Before Dark. So Dinosaurs Before Dark was published by Random House Publishing. And let's take a look at what our story is going to be like by checking out the back of the book. So it says, where did the treehouse come from? Before Jack and Annie, the two main characters, can find out, the mysterious treehouse whisks them to the prehistoric past. Now Jack and Annie have to figure out how to get home. But... Can they do it before dark or will they become a dinosaur's dinner? Are you ready to find out? So we'll start with chapter one of Dinosaurs Before Dark. <music> Chapter One, Into the Woods. Help, a monster, said Annie. Yeah, sure, said Jack. A real monster in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. Run, Jack, said Annie. She ran up the road. Oh, brother, thought Jack. This is what he got for spending time with his seven-year-old sister. Annie loved pretend stuff, but Jack was eight and a half. He liked real things. Watch out, Jack! The monster's coming, said Annie. Jack didn't say anything. Come on, Jack! I'll race you, said Annie. No thanks, said Jack. Annie raced alone into the woods. Jack looked at the sky. The sun was about to set. Come on, Annie! It's time to go home, yelled Jack. But Annie didn't answer. Jack waited. Annie, he called again. Jack, Jack, Annie shouted. Come here, quick. Jack groaned. This had better be good, he said. Jack left the road and headed into the woods. The trees were lit with a golden late afternoon light. Over here, called Annie. Annie was standing under a tall oak tree. Look, she said. She pointed at a rope ladder. It was hanging down from high in the tree. Wow, Jack whispered. At the top of the tree was a tree house tucked between two branches. That must be the highest tree house in the world, said Annie. Who built it? asked Jack. I've never seen it before. I don't know, but I'm going up, said Annie. No, we don't know who it belongs to, said Jack. Just for a teeny minute, said Annie, and she started up the ladder. Annie, come back, said Jack. But Annie kept climbing. She climbed all the way up to the tallest branches. Jack sighed. Annie, it's almost dark. We have to go home. Annie disappeared inside the treehouse. Annie, Jack called. Jack waited a moment. He was about to call again when Annie poked her head out of the treehouse window. Books! Annie shouted. What? Jack said. It's filled with books, said Annie. Aw, oh, man! Jack thought. He loved books. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He gripped the sides of the rope ladder and started up. <laughs> Chapter 2 The Monster Jack crawled into the treehouse. Wow, he said. The treehouse was filled with books. 
Books were everywhere. Very old books with dusty covers, and new books with shiny bright covers. Look, said Annie, you can see far away. She was peering out the treehouse window. Jack looked out the window with her. Below were the tops of the other trees. In the distance he could see the Frog Creek Library and the elementary school and the park. Annie pointed in the other direction. There's our house, she said. Annie was right. Jack could see their white wooden house with its green porch. In the yard next door was their neighbor's black dog, Henry. He looked very tiny. Hi, Henry! shouted Annie. Shush! We're not supposed to be up here, said Jack. Jack glanced around the treehouse again. He noticed that bookmarks were sticking out of many of the books. I wonder who owns all these books, he said. I like this one, said Annie, and she picked up a book with a castle on the cover. Here's a book about Pennsylvania, said Jack. He turned to the page with the bookmark. Hey, here's a picture of Frog Creek, said Jack. It's a picture of these woods. Oh, here's a book for you, said Annie. She held up a book about dinosaurs. A blue silk bookmark was sticking out of it. Let me see, said Jack. He set his backpack down on the floor and grabbed the book from Annie. Okay, you look at that one, and I'll look at the one about castles, said Annie. No, we'd better not, said Jack. We don't know who these books belong to. But even as he said this, Jack was opening the dinosaur book to the place where the bookmark was. He couldn't help himself. Jack turned to a picture of an ancient flying reptile. He recognized it as a pteranodon. He touched the huge bat-like wings in the picture. Wow, whispered Jack. I wish we could go to the time of pteranodons. Jack studied the picture of the odd-looking creature soaring through the sky. Ah! screamed Annie. What? said Jack. A monster! cried Annie. She pointed out the treehouse window. Stop pretending, Annie, said Jack. No, really, said Annie. Jack looked out the window. A giant creature was gliding above the treetops. It had a long, weird crest on the back of its head, a skinny beak, and huge bat-like wings. It was a real, live pteranodon. The creature swooped through the sky. It looked like a glider plane. It was coming straight toward the treehouse. Get down, cried Annie. Jack and Annie crouched on the floor. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. <laughs> Oh, what a crazy start. So what do you think will happen next? Now that the treehouse has stopped spinning, what will Jack and Annie see? Will they still be in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, or somewhere else? And what is going to happen with that pteranodon? Share your predictions with us in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube to never miss an episode. Just search for Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library. Then we'll see you next week for the next installment with Jack and Annie in the book Dinosaurs Before Dark, written by Mary Pope Osborne. Thanks for joining us with Kids Storytime from AHMFL.